Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Aja. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. <laughs> It's me, James Mansfield from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. I think. You should get your tickets to RuPaul's DragCon on May 11th, 12th, and 13th. I had to remember that. Get your tickets at RuPaul'sDragCon.com or wherever fine tickets are sold or just that website. I'd be there, but I gotta wash my hair that day. This week, Aja is my special guest. So today, it's actually Rajaja. 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 Cow. Kitty. Kitty. Cat. Rajaja. Cow. Mother. Rajaja. 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 Ow. Cat. And Aja and Raja will be tooting and booting the looks of season ten of. Where the f is Raven is the question everyone would like to hear. No, some like She's that. getting an ass reduction. I feel like it's something with the ass. Ass, ass, ass. An ass reduction for Raven would just be simply like one of those like electric knives shaving off her pads. <laughs> that's not a real ass. It's actually, she's got like a really flat ass, I'm assuming. I don't know, I haven't seen it in a long oh time. Oh my God, not spooking the tea. <laughs> I don't know, it's like I imagine her naked, but I've never actually seen. Anyway, so we're talking about a season 10, uh, how are you? Are you following along? Are you living for all of it? Uh, I'm living for season 10 because these bitches are petty, they're serving drama, but most of all, they're serving the drama on the runway. On the runway? Woo! Girl. Oh, honey, they, are, they came prepared, I think. Ma, some girls walk into drag race like me in season 9. I'm like, girl, what's a resource? What's a budget? These girls came and they were like, Ma, I'm stoned from head to toe. So. Yes, Ma. Can I say it right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get right to this. We're gonna talk about some looks on the runway, and the theme is Hats Incredible! Hats Incredible! That's funny. No one told us. <laughs> it's like there was a memo sent and no one gave it to us to wear hats. All right, here we go. Contestant number one, she goes by Cameron Michaels of Nashville, and she's come with her Gaga Space orb thing on her head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's giving me very space pussy, like Gaga Barbarella, like ga Gargarella. Gargarella! <laughs> Gargarella, I hear it, yeah. I love the the color pattern. Mm -hmm. I love like purples and silvers together. It's mm -hmm. very like, I just dyed my hair silver and I use purple shampoo to keep it that way. Oh. I love the hat. I'm not really crazy about the costume. And it's, why? I don't know, I, I love the colors. I just, I wish it was a higher cut of the, I, I like the peplum, is that what it's called? I don't know. <laughs> I like the peplum like popping out on the side. I just wish it was higher cut. So she, Cameron has a banging body. I wanna see more leg. Mm -hmm. I wanna see her be So you wanted flat. her peplum to poplum? <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I got, but I, I like the look overall. I just wanted a higher panty cut, be a whore. Do I? kind of think it's fine. I think you are being really ambitious with your like need to show your anger and like bootness of it all. Like calm down, sis, ma. Ma, watch, because I'm giving this a two. So, oh, okay. Because honestly, the thing that is supposed to make the outfit is the hat and the thing, yeah. it's, this is creative. This mm -hmm. is like, it's not just a hat, it moves. Okay, that's my favorite thing about it is that it moves. And you know, at this point, it's sort of nostalgic to wear Gaga theme things like this, because she wore that hat like 10 years ago or something. Wow, I feel really old right now. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> anyway, I love this look. I think she looks really fantastic, and her hat is, you know, that's incredible. That's incredible! <laughs> I give this look a two. All right, kids, next we have Mona Asha. No. That's how I say it. <laughs> I can't help it. It's just sort of spelled that way. <laughs> she looks good. I don't know if I've ever met her. You know her? Yeah, I actually, I, I'm from New York. Uh, I know, but that doesn't mean you know everybody. Uh, when you work in New York, you bump to everybody at least once. <laughs> Even if it's in the dungeon. And when you say bump, I know what you mean. Ah! I think Monet looks great. Like, Mona Asha. I love the pattern, the colors. Mm -hmm. it's, this is giving me very like Harlem, like uh, Harlem Renaissance, like going to church oh. on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. She's a Baptist woman. I would agree. I think Mona Achange looks absolutely great. The colors, like the, the use of like primary colors, red, yellow, 
uh, blue, white, and black, like all of it looks so beautiful. There's something that kind of gives me a Mondrian feel yes. to the colors. And I love this, and I love that she's like ambiguously like going to church. Like she would be my favorite. Like if I was at church as a child, my eye would be drawn to her. She's a geometric Christian, too. Oh. This is personally my favorite look so far mm. that Monet has worn. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just like the most unique and exciting, and I think it really complements her. I give Mona Ashan a two. Ooh, Ooh. yes. Ooh, Ooh is right. Next we have. Miss Eureka. You know Eureka? Uh, yeah. I, uh, I may have been on a season of Drag Race with her. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the forefront for me. I think Eureka has definitely stepped it up since season nine in Bitch. terms of fashion, who she is. Mm -hmm. She's really owning herself and I'm, I'm so happy to see it. I know the judges are looking at her like, bitch, we know you've been traveling. We know we have to look at you with a little mm -hmm. microscope. With a little micro, not, a, not just a little one, but a very Eureka-sized microscope. Oh, Aja, was that shade? Stop trying to give me the bitch edit. Where do I I'm get leaving. one of these? Dragon. Oh my God, I need, I need like ear, I need a whole outfit. I'm just like, tits, tits. <laughs> Pasties. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Eureka looks like some sort of like, I don't know what she's giving me. She's giving me like evil Nancy Drew Houndstooth Hamburglarette. See, you read my mind. <laughs> Hamburglar. I love Houndstooth because mm -hmm. uh, it looks great, but like not everyone knows how to utilize it in the mm. way that will be flattering. Houndstooth just makes things like feel proper. Yes. Like all of a sudden it's like English or something. But she's giving such a villainess vibe. Ooh, so villainess. It's just like, yeah. Ew, a pink ew. shoulder, which I do love. Yes, and that wide brim hat, also in houndstooth. Yes, 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 yes. I but love this look. The no hair. We were just talking about this no mm -hmm. hair with the hat. Mm -hmm. She did that, and I, I've never seen a bald Eureka. Mm. So I'm living. Yeah, I love it, love it, love it. This is a two. Two, two. It's like Carmen San Diego, no? Oh, it's yes. very Carmen Sandiego. That went over our head. Yeah. Very Carmen Sandiego. I was trying to figure that one out. I was like, it's Carmen Sandiego. It's very gothy Saint Tropez. Gothy Saint Tropez. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite look. Next, we have the one and only Aquaria, also of New York City. She's really doing the fashion for me this season. Oh, absolutely. And this look definitely is too. Girl, this look, like, the hat is not even on her head, it's on. The, the ear. The it's ear. like perched. It's a perched like top hat. Like the whole thing is great. The min the minimalist things that she does, which is like, I'm just gonna put a thunderbolt in a bra and that's my look. It, it, also, her hat is wearing a hat. Hat, 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 my, she has a tarantula on her eye, darling. And it's still, it's like all the lines are clean. Yes. That's what I really love about it. It's like, it's not about piling on a bunch of stuff. It's just like feature, feature, see it's right there, it's right there, it's right there. And that's enough. Cause For I'm me? Aquaria. <laughs> <laughs> toot. Aquaria gets a toot. To the moon. Toot, toot. Okay, next we have Monique Hart. Ooh. La des en wah, wah, wah. I sometimes buy gift wrap just to put it on my head, and that's what this is. It looks like gift wrap. I'll say this, I think Monique is one of those queens, like I relate to her, because it's season nine, I showed up, I was like, I don't have the resources, mm -hmm. I don't have the money. Yeah. She showed up and she said, everything that I have here is pretty much made by me, mm -hmm. and she looks great here. Like the little silhouette of her outfit, I love that it has like a little level mm -hmm. layer, and the hat is cute, and she, she's painted. Yeah, I love Monique for this. Like, this look is everything to me. I love the fact that she can just kind of make something out of nothing. Because, you know, for many people, that's what drag is. For most people, that's what drag is. Not everybody got the coin to do it, but Monique Hart is resourceful. She can go there and just find something and make, some, make something beautiful out of absolutely nothing. So, for that, I give this look a two. I give it a two as well. You know, the only thing that I'm really sick and tired of with Monique Hart is that shoe, and I know that is a, that, oh. that might be a money issue, but she really went and got four pairs of the same biscuit. She got a four-piece okay. biscuit and, and, and no chicken. I'm a size 14 in shoes, so mm -hmm. I know the struggle of shoes, but those are not even just shoes. Those are like clonks. I don't, I don't even know what to call them. Clonks. They're not a kitten. No, those no. are patty melts. 
patty melt, baby. Cause she looks, she looks to melt into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I just want Monique Hart to get a shoe sponsor after this is all done and over with. It's what she deserves. Next we have Asia O'Hara. Now, this bitch. <laughs> She's so extra, I live. Cause who hasn't gone to the Ikea locally and seen that lamp and thought, that should go on my head. Wait, that's a lamp? That is a lamp, bitch. Okay, she's had so many big things on the runway and I'm just thinking like, this bitch knows how to pack. <laughs> because I, I, I would imagine that, that that all comes apart because it, it, and it probably comes with directions with a little like funny stick man. The thing I like about Asia O'Hara is that her costumes are so extra, mm -hmm. but like she sells like this like really glamorous, like it's kind of campy, but it's mm -hmm. also like fashion-y. I don't know mm -hmm. how to explain it. Yeah. That she's that perfect blend to me of like a uh, pageant, number one, mm -hmm. and also she's got like a quirkiness and an ability to kind of transcend that a little bit and, and put her other hoof into the fashion yes. and art. Yes. Is that what it is? Art. It is art before it is fashion. Art, art. Yeah, because it's art. not always fashionable. But it is definitely artful. My favorite thing about this shoe is that uh, I know a lot of darker queens find it hard to get like a good nude illusion, mm. but this nude illusion is literally perfect. Because she's literally made of chocolate. She is so delicious and beautiful. That good chocolate brown is readily available and it matches her skin. I just want to dip something in her. Oh, I bet a lot of people have dipped a lot of things in her. Ah! Pretty sure. To me, this is a chew. She puts the O in Asia. Oh, Hera, it is a two. All right, next we have Ms. Cracker. Cracker! On the show, she's been exciting me so much this season. Her quirkiness, yeah. her looks are so smart. And this look, this hat, like mm -hmm. it's like, she kind of is giving me like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. I don't know what you're talking about. As soon as she showed like how goofy and weird she was, I was like, love her. Yes. Love yeah. a queen who's not afraid to be weird. Yeah, she's so adorable. I love her teeth. Like, I just stare at her teeth. She's got like little, like, cute little, like, fuck teeth. On the runway, she always serves like this, like, really, like, unapproachably pretty looks. Uh huh. Which is, like, really weird. Like, when you think of, like, quirky, I kind of think of, like, Thorgy or Tammy Brown, where goofy, they're. It's, big. like, goofy. Like, she's goofy, but mm -hmm. also, like, like, legally goofy. Legally blonde, legally goofy. Cute. It took her 12 hours to make that hat, apparently. Hard working bitch. Well, the hat itself is not that fierce. I mean, she should have put another two in it. Uh, I'm <laughs> like, really, honey? Bitch, it's a hat challenge, come on. I love her, but this was not one of my favorites. I would say that this one, come on, it's a hat challenge. Go, come with, get, get with me on this, sis. I don't... You can wrap around, you can wrap hair around a sun hat, but you can't call it fierce all the time. Like, come on now. I personally like it. Is that it. her thing? No, so, so, I'm not even listening to you. It's, you know, it's just not it. This is a hat challenge. This is RuPaul's Drag Race season 10. All right, go ahead. What do you have to say? I like I don't know. I don't, I don't <laughs> you. I love it. Okay. Why? I just love it. I would wear it. That's that's it. That's not even like rational. Like you're not I even like, the, like going I like the hat. I like the hair. I like how well uh, placed the hair is on the hat. Okay. I like the construction. I like uh, and I like the dress. Okay. And I like how thick the horse hair is at the bottom. So you know it really. It's a slick. hat challenge. I give it a boot. I give it a two. <laughs> <laughs> See how this works? It's fun, right? Next we have Blair Sinclair, I declare. She is so adorable. Like I always say, like I wanna, you know, suck out her youthful Beautiful. energy through her eyes. So she kinda does look in this outfit like she's part of a witness protection program. She's mm -hmm. in Kentucky trying to get away from her ex-fiance who tried to push off a ledge in West Virginia off of a trailer. Specific. She looks like the reincarnate of Jean Bonnet. Yes, She came yes. back to life, darling, and she came back with long legs and perfect teeth and a boy. <laughs> uh, I I like the hat. I don't really like the tool at the top of it. I wish it was ribbon. I'm heaving. <laughs> I'm here. I've got things to say. I like the dress, but uh, I mean, it is a hat challenge, and I really I just wanted a big satin ribbon bow. It's exactly uh, Miss Cracker's hat, but with fabric rather than hair. It's like, come on, this is all you can think of. It's season. 10, you're gonna wrap a sun hat with things? Like, I'm done with it. No, this is a boot. She looks like a toilet paper koozie. I... Ugh. I just no, wish it's that... a hat challenge. I'm emotional. I'm emotional about this like I am with 
Madonna challenge. Like, there's two things I love in the world. Madonna and cats. And I cannot believe that this bitch came on with that. I she, she does Broadway Like, put some flowers on it. Put something. Like, make it move. Like, make it a, put talk, like, make it a taco shell. Something. Tacos. It's boring. Tacos. Tacos. I, I just don't I just don't think the lace like the no, I get the lace and the hat with the glove but no, I wish no, no. it was a satin glove with a satin hat with the bow. No. I give it a boo. Yeah. yeah, it's a boo. It's a boo. Sorry. Right. She cute as she is so adorable. Like if I if I uh, you know she's cute. Next we have the vixen. I love the vixen. Uh, this is not my favorite look at all. I, I like the structuring of the dress. What is done of it? But I don't like how low the bra part of it is. I just think there's a thing about proportion. Did someone connect like a cord between your head and my, your temple and my temple? Because you read, go ahead. I just feel like uh, the bra should be a little higher. I'm not a, I'm not a tit queen, but if I were going to wear something that had a chest, like, you know, you're not a grandma, Vixen, it's youthful, beautiful, the tit is not down here. Mm. It's up here. The hat is not really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, uh, also, the strap issue with the toes covered with the tie. Uh, it's like, if you could get away with it if you have a really tight front and you wear like a fishnet. But this is really open and um, it's a boot. Oh my God, Aja, thank you so much for that. It's like you just saved a half an hour of like <laughs> me speaking. Uh, uh, saved, saved you from the Kellyanne Conway speeches. Oh my God, you just completely <laughs> read my mind. You know what would have made this thing better? Because I know that she has that very like DIY kind of sensibility, yes. aesthetic, if you will, about her. And I appreciate that. But there's just not enough. There's yeah. not enough. She needed double the amount of hats or maybe taken the whole thing, scrunched it up and popped it on her head and walked out, walked out naked with her dick out. Well, Powerful. Actually, Grace Jones. Uh, the moment. dress is made out of hats. I know. But I wish that at first, I don't know, I wish there was a little more buildup on the hip area. More. Like just like to give it more yeah. of like a, oh, what if she would have came out and gave like a penier shape? Something, bitch, Something. but that Target bra with the, with the I have that too. We all got it. Sharon Needles told me about it and I got like six pair of them. So uh, like it's just like a foamy bra, and with not to some be hats. not to be nitpicky. I don't like the the zipper kind of like uh, leather glove with it. Oh, that's nitpicky. It, it kind of because now you're just going into bully moments here right now. Now you're picking. You're bullying me, Raja, on national <laughs> YouTube vision. Send me home. <laughs> no, this look is a boot. She should have thought about this and put an extra like twenty. I don't know. It needs more time. It just needs more. It's a boo. It just needs finessing. Finesse. And a little restructure. Restructure. Trend alert! Shay. Shay. <laughs> this is so fun. I need so many of these. And these will be available at DragCon. Yes, bitch. I love it. The remix. <laughs> <laughs> Our top two of the week is Eureka! 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 Yes, yes, yes. Work, beach, Work. leaving. Yes, ma, sis. Yes, bitch too, bitch too. Yes, ma, sis. Sis. Oh my God. We need to be uh, excommunicated from this room right now. <laughs> Tune in to VH1 on Thursday nights for an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. Make sure to click on the link below to see if RuPaul's Drag Race is available in your country. On WOW Presents Plus. That's plus. Needs is extra. Ha, 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 ha.